I'm Jeremy Garcia, and this is why I got vaccinated. We were taking precautions, uh, making sure we're wearing masks and you know, being careful when being around people. Uh, at that time, it wasn't, the vaccine wasn't available to, to everybody except for health workers and the elderly. A family member tested positive, and uh, they had been around us, and then our whole family got it. And I had a little fever here and there, uh, a little fatigue. Uh, my wife had it pretty rough. She was nauseous, couldn't get out of bed. Uh, the kids were, were fine, little, little symptoms here and there, but they were pretty much good, running around the house. Uh, on the ninth day, I was fine. Me and the kids were outside playing basketball. And then day 10, I woke up in the morning, and started coughing, couldn't catch my breath, and it got worse throughout the day. Ended up going to the doctor. And he tested my oxygen level, I was at 86%, and they took me right over to the emergency room and I was admitted then. I ended up being there in there 98 days. Uh, I woke up in a totally different room from where I was before. I couldn't talk, I was strapped to a bed, not knowing what was going on. Uh, being on the, the BiPAP machine, big face mask, oh, it was terrible. I've, you know, I've never had issues with claustrophobia, but trying to be, you know, with that mask and the pressure, it, it, it's hard. It's scary. It, it, until March, I, I hadn't seen my family since January. My kids weren't allowed to come up. My wife wasn't allowed to come up. They let her come up one, one time uh, before they intubated me, but I, I vaguely remember her being there. I was, uh, I was medicated and I, I don't remember. Uh, I was there for, what, a week and a half in the ICU? Mm -hmm. And then they transferred me to an actual room. Uh, of my coma, I uh, had drop foot in both feet, so I could push my feet down, but I couldn't pick them up. I had to have therapy for that. Uh, my hands, I had numbness in both fingers, uh, both bottom fingers on both hands, and uh, so doing things that were uh, dexterous can, didn't have a whole lot of dexterity in my hands, uh, and that needed a lot of therapy. And uh, the therapists were great; they did a great job. But it, it was rough. Physical therapy was hard, uh, but I did it. It did what I had to do and I got out. Uh, doctors told me that I'd need to go to long term and that it'd be three to six months before I could go home and that, that didn't happen. We ended up going short term and, and I got out of there. They also told me I wasn't going to make it. Told her several times that I wasn't going to make it. And uh, I can't imagine what she was feeling. She fought for me all the way and, and did everything she could to get me the best care and, and to make sure that everything was done right. And uh, she's a good woman, good mom, great wife. Uh, due to COVID, I spent 98 days in the hospital. So please get vaccinated. I don't want anybody to have to go through what I did.